So guys, I wanted to hit and touch on something real quick today. Um, Rochelle Hathaway, okay, if any of you is not aware, in the firearms community, Rochelle Hathaway is a now formally previously sponsored by Terran Tactical Shooter. Um, she's a model, she's a shooter, she gained a lot of attention, a lot of notoriety, a lot of publicity in the firearms scene, in the firearms realm. And recently, when she was asked to interview with a magazine that is, I'm not going to say anti-gun, but probably less pro-gun, okay? She basically said she thinks firearms should be banned. She thinks that the less shootings, and I'm quoting here, the less firearms, the less shootings, period. I don't really like doing these videos, but, you know, Colian Noir came out with one. A couple other guys came out with articles or, or so on and so forth. Colian Noir hit it on the head, okay? It is absolutely certifiable. It should be anyway. It's absolutely ridiculous to use the firearms community to gain notoriety, to use your ability to gain attention because you're a female in a predominantly male-occupied zone to gain attention, gain publicity, and, you know, get YouTube famous, get Instagram famous, you know, videos of you hanging out with Michelle Rodriguez training for, you know, a movie, this, that, and the other thing, um, all using that and ultimately while wearing a, a veil or a cloak or, or using, you know, various guises and then turning around and almost biting the hand that feeds you. Nobody is saying that you should be, you know, oh my God, everyone should have a firearm. Nobody's saying that. But it's it's almost criminal and it should be, in my opinion, as a firearms instructor as a Department of Justice alumni, as as someone that that is around this all the time. If you don't, I'm going to use a phrase here, if you didn't put your hand on the shovel and use it, then don't rest your hands on that shovel, okay? I'm going to go even deeper, no pun intended, on a shovel, if you don't know what you're talking about, don't make comments because they can be extremely catastrophic. You have to factor in who you are. When you're sponsored by Terran Tactical, when you're endorsed by Terran Tactical, when you're in the firearms community, when you're a representative of other agencies, I was on TV shows and you have to sign a contract and you have to agree that you're going to act the way you're supposed to act and you're going to be the way you're supposed to be. And if you don't, they don't want you on there. They're not going to publish that. They're not going to put that out there. You're a representation of that company. When you put that logo on your jacket, when you've got that logo on your truck, okay, and I'm pointing there, but you can't see, your representation, okay, everybody has their own opinion. Everybody has their own values. Everybody has their own measure of what's right and what's wrong. I am never going to tell someone Rochelle Hathaway was wrong. I'm never going to tell someone, um, at least not on camera anyway, I'm never going to tell someone that she was wrong for having an opinion. The problem is, somewhere along the lines, it, it, it's gotten murky, and people think that it's okay to have an opinion based on nothing. It's okay to run your mouth and form an opinion and, and use that opinion when you really don't know what you're speaking about. She brings up AK-47s and, and that's not with what, what people had in the United States, you know, back then when the Constitution was written, the Second Amendment was written. 
uh, they'd basically need a time machine or a crystal ball and be extremely clairvoyant to know what an AK-47 was. I mean, it's just a ridiculous, ridiculous point. Just so you know, in the 1800s, 1900s, they had machine guns. Just so you know, they did. Read a book. Get some education. You had to use a hand crank, but I'm pretty sure that if I took one of those ancient machine guns and brought it to town hall and just started ripping rounds off at 60 rounds a minute, 70 rounds a minute, 180 rounds a minute, depending on which models you look at, at cars coming down the road, be catastrophic. So they had firepower back then. There's, there's, don't let that sway your opinion. Read a book, Rochelle Hathaway. Get some knowledge. Maybe, maybe think before you speak. Friendly advice from someone that has been in the public eye before, from someone that has been in that regard, and from someone that is in the firearms scene, is in the firearms community. Don't come back. Don't come back. Give it up. Be a model. You want to be a model. You want to placate them. You want to get attention by sullying and spitting in the face of the gun community, which is probably one of the only reasons that you're in that magazine article at this point in time. Stay away. If you try and regain entry into that market, buckle up. Because I'm here to tell you, um, just like these colors don't run as prominent, just like 3 percenters prominent, just like the Tea Party's prominent, you are done. You are done. Nobody is going to allow you uh, any, any mind, pay you any mind, pay you any attention. Because what you did is, is inexcusable. It's, it's unbelievable that someone that's a sponsored shooter and puts bread on their table acts that, that carelessly, that flagrantly in regards to the firearms community, okay? You're at another level. And to, to be at that level and, and speak the way you did and sell yourself out and sell your endorsement companies out, sell your fans out, sell everyone out because you're trying to cater to another audience says everything that everyone needs to know about your character. I wouldn't shake your hand if I met you. I'd laugh in your face if I met you because you made a big mistake. And unfortunately, it's inexcusable at this point in time because, you know, the lobby, the, the market, the audience, the people that probably helped you get there, you just shit on. So, um, I hope you enjoy that bed you made because uh, you're going to be there for a while, permanently. Just my opinion, but see, unlike you, I'm basing it on facts.